welcome back i hope you guys are all doing very well thank you guys for joining me in today's video today guys we're going to be going over some resident evil leaks that have been kind of out for a while now about 10 days uh i'm actually reading this right now as i'm looking at this to here um so if i do sound a little bit uh, confused so if you notice that i look here and there that is why but i'm also going to be trying something new i've been trying face cam and i've been also really trying to get out of my comfort zone when it comes to making these videos so if you guys do go in to enjoy today's video i would really appreciate if you guys can drop me a like subscribe if you guys are new and comment down below what you think of these leaks by the way that's another thing these leaks aren't confirmed and are not being backed by a reliable source so i'm gonna most likely say this is false but you never know so these leaks are coming from reddit i'll leave a link in the description if you guys do want to check this out for yourselves but we're going to be reading this and i will give my honest opinions at the very end when i'm done reading all this. so it appears that white mold is going to be in this game which is a different variation of the mold that we see probably in resident evil 7 and 8 um if i do recall resident evil 7 and 8 and what nine were supposed to be like this trilogy or something but those were leaks a while back i can't remember if that has anything to do with this i highly doubt it but it is also good to throw that out there the main character is adrian clark he is a tourist who arrived on the island with his wife and son the wife was killed by local residents shortly after the start of the game and the son was kidnapped for unknown purposes the protagonist is trying to find him so it looks like we are going to be playing as a new character i like that sometimes leon kennedy who is around 50 years old at the time of this game helps him his role is episodic and he appears a little bit more frequently than chris in re village chris jill and claire are also present in this game they work with leon but act somewhere behind the scenes his role will likely be revealed in the DLC. This game is played from first person view, but after completing the game, an OTS, which is over the shoulder, will be available. Additionally, DLC for famous characters is planned to be made for over the shoulder only. The volcano on the island has a plot significance. Some time long ago, extro extreme files, extreme files, I don't know pronouncing that right extremophiles lived there adored by locals it is known that these extremophiles can be strengthened white mold and they are of interest to both the connections and the bsaa the bsaa is now completely under the control of blue umbrella having completely corrupted this organization it is also known that the blue umbrella supplies bow soldiers as weapons to other countries and the world is on the brink of destruction during the game, it is clearly hinted that its events will lead to an apocalypse. The game is developed on the advanced REX engine. The announcement is planned for the first half of 2025. The release date is scheduled for the beginning of 2026. This game will support PSVR 2. Now, I'm gonna be quite honest with you, I don't believe any of these leaks. They sound way too good to be true. And Chris, Jill, and Claire are also present in this game. They work with Leon. I understand that most people really want these characters back, but I think it's just kind of time to wrap their story up. And if RE9 is going in this direction, I mean, we've gotten a lot of Leon over these last couple of years. We got him in the remakes, and I'm really happy about that. You know, he was a lot more fleshed out, but I think it's just kind of time to wrap up these characters. I mean, they're getting into their 50s at this point, you know? Resident Evil does follow an actual timeline. You know, these characters actually age. And the game is said to be first person. I'm not really against it. I think it's actually a better move. Um, I actually do enjoy the first person, but I don't want it to be completely slow like how it is in Resident Evil Village. That's just me though. I mean, Resident Evil 7 was worse, but I mean, it kind of fits that theme for that game. If you played it, then you know. But there is a lot of stuff, which is really weird. I mean, we're getting a new playable character called Adrian Clark, who's a tourist and his wife is killed and his son is kidnapped. I mean, that kind of makes sense. His son being kidnapped would probably tie into why Leon's there. And the BSA plot, I mean, we know that Chris has some type of involvement and is going to the BSA at the end of Resident Evil 8. But really, guys? 
guys i think that's everything i wanted to cover again i don't think these leaks are real i just want to point that out for you guys but um i could be wrong i hope i'm wrong but you never know where these leaks do come from and it's probably just some random person on the internet just making this as a troll and it's kind of unfortunate but i do like to cover all the news the leaks and uh, i'm trying to get back on that uh, i also have a video coming very soon talking about the potential of resident evil 9 and this video actually kind of or these leaks actually sorry in other words kind of helped me with that i do want resident evil 9 to be more horror focused resident evil 8 was more action focused with a little bit of horror elements i will say sprinkled in there but that's gonna have to wrap up today's video guys i hope you guys definitely did enjoy with all that being said i will catch you guys in my next video peace out